Hi, and welcome to Avocet Math. In this video, we're going to look at our last problem from our set of AMC 12 counting problems, and let's see what we have. Nine chairs in a row are to be occupied by six students and professors Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. These three professors arrive before the six students and decide to choose their chairs so that each professor will be between two students. In how many ways can the professors choose their chairs? So uh, this is one of the more difficult AMC counting problems, so we, we're probably going to have to get a little creative here. And it turns out that there's, it's a very difficult problem to count uh, unless you use sort of a counting tool, similar to the counting tool that we used back in the AMC 10 uh, problem for the, uh, the donuts. So go ahead and check that one out if, if, you're, if you're curious. Um, and sort of the, the, the key here is to try to catch the students before they sit down. And that, that enables you to use a very uh, straightforward counting tool. So let's take a look at uh, the six students who are getting ready to file into a room with uh, nine chairs. And imagine that they're kind of lined up in a row, ready to move into this uh, order of uh, line of chairs. And we're trying to basically insert professors into these gaps uh, prior to them rolling down into the row of chairs. And at that point, we can, we can get the insight that what we really have now is five gaps to insert the three professors. So we have gap one, two, three, four, and five. And the counting now becomes quite a bit simpler because we see that our counting task is, is really just to decide how many ways can we insert the three professors into these five labeled gaps. And, and that turns out to be quite simple. It turns out to be the permutation of the five gaps chosen three at a time. And we choose a permutation instead of a combination because if, for example, we selected alpha, beta, and gamma to be, say, in gaps two, three, and four, uh, it actually matters from the interpretation of this problem whether alpha is in two and beta is in three or vice versa. So that's essentially selecting three items from a set of five where the order of the item selection matters. And that's a permutation, not a combination. And from our permutation math, that works out to 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 factorial, which is equal to 5 factorial over 2 factorial. And that is 5 times 4 times 3. And that is 20 times 3, 60. Answer C. Anyway, hope that helped. And uh, congratulations on uh, making your way through these uh, problem sets. Uh, hopefully, if you see enough of these problems where you have to use these kind of insightful counting tools, uh, you see enough of these and you sort of being out, start uh, kind of sensing them and starting to get yourself to be on the lookout for them. And it gets a lot easier as you see a few more of these. So good luck with that and take care. Bye-bye.